I mean, it does make you like 200% more sexy whilst doing that. slice of life and um, that bag down there that's been my edc bag lately it's a nutsack nutsack sent it to me um to see if i would review it they uh, obviously liked the last video i did uh, but yeah this is this is it so we're gonna look at what I use it for and we're going to sort of go into the, the various things that I have in it and this has been some real world use you'll see. So this has been sitting in this car for a start um, it was probably about 51 degrees celsius today uh, in the sun which is where I was parked for eight hours while I was at work. Um, this here this is a, a drink that my kids had a while ago now it was a slushy that was in here but then it fell down and it leaked and it went all in the bottom of the bag and the bag hasn't been washed either and it's actually pretty fine in there to be honest so this has definitely had that life use happen to it uh, it's shoved full of things and I guess we'll get it out and I'll show you what things I keep in it and this is this is it this is kind of like my front footwell bag um, you know, someone can sit in the seat and they just have to mind their feet when they get in. This is like basically my, I'm the only person who's really ever in this, this car. This is my Honda. You see, it's all a bit grim back here. <laughs> There's another like bag that I use for stuff. It's more like a first aid kind of utility kind of bag. This is like stuff to you know, I don't know, help me solve little problems and basically to entertain me really is, is what it's mainly about. So let's crack it open and have a look. Probably not shutting today. Oh, maybe it will. I don't know. Yeah, no, it's a bit jammed, a bit jam packed. Yeah, I don't like my chances. I'm chaotic. All right, so yeah, that's it to this bag. I've got a previous sort of smaller version of this bag, which I'll show you as well. I think this is the Mag Satch. Uh, bag and it's, it was new this last year. It's in the black Cordura type ripstop nylon, really thick, good quality nylon rather than what you usually get is that kind of brown Duluth packy looking canvas stuff. That's what the other the other one I have in here. They also sent me this little kind of organizational pouch here as well, which is just leather and that's developed pretty pretty nicely since I've been carrying it pretty carelessly in here. So. Anyway, let's go through all the stuff I keep in here. Um, yeah, should be fun. Fun? Is that the right word for it? Alrighty, so it's a, you know it's not a bad size, this guy, and I think I can get the zip shut. Not that I ever have it shut, really. Um, I could get it shut if I wanted to. If I was going to carry this around, which you know might get out if I'm going somewhere, this would be the bag that I get out as well. It's sort of you know, rather have an over full bag than a bag with not enough in it, you know. Anyway, so it's got three zips that kind of all catch up so you can open it from different points. So if I wanted to just open it on the side, I could just open the zip from here to here. Or of course you can, out of the way buck 110, you can pull it all around, whatever. Anyway, you get the point. Righto, so opening it up, it's still kind of got that nice cotton canvas lining on the inside and then just the Cordura on the outside. So really, really nice there. Uh, okay, so looking at it, this is that NAFS tool roll I was telling you about that sits in this pocket here. So it's got two big pockets, one, two on the inside. So NAFS tool roll, if I'm wanting to do some spot sharpening or if I'm bringing a larger sharpener, it'll probably ride in here as well. And you can see my previous video to see what I've got in the NAFS tool roll. That video is hovering at about 3000 views, so I could definitely use for kick. So go check that out. You might find it well, as interesting as you're finding all this, I suppose. Uh, in the other pocket, I've got some Bushmans which is a great Aussie insect repellent and sunscreen combination. So here we've got some floods happening at the moment and uh, the mozzie levels, well, to be honest, they're not as high as we thought they were gonna be because the dragonfly levels went crazy, but, and they ate all the mozzies, but anyway, still good stuff, keeps the flies off. Uh, we got lots of um, 
flying insects in this country. It's not ideal. Uh, and then in this other pocket, I've just got whatever I'm reading at the moment. So right now I'm onto uh, volume seven of Chainsaw Man. It's really taking off, really good. It's past the uh, anime now. Really recommend Chainsaw Man. If you're a fan of this sort of stuff, if you're not, then it's probably really not gonna do it for you. But if you're after a good uh, one to read, or if you're after a good, even the show's really, really excellent as well. So check out Chainsaw Man. I've got all 11 volumes. I'm working my way through them. So that's good. I've got a hat, just in case I get stuck somewhere. This is my ass hat. Uh, it's like the Australian, <laughs> it's, it's all falling off. Oh, it's poor quality. Uh, Australian Research and Space Exploration. To exploration. Uh, it's like a sort of a sem somewhat jokey but also sort of science charity kind of thing that sells funny ass hats. So there you go. It's like the get it. It's like NASA, but anyway, you get it. Whatever. Ugh. Okay, so we'll do this afterwards. Uh, I've also got in here my Leatherman Wave. So this is my bunged up Leatherman Wave that I snapped off the, the heavy flat driver. Uh, not that I really use it that much, but um, I've got a Another screwdriver in the car if I was after that. This is a good for a pair of pliers or a little pocket knife, like a little folding knife or a serrated knife on the go. Like, you know, just it's a Leatherman man, how you know everyone knows what they're handy as. Got this little first aid kit of mainly just band aids, things like that, because I've got a bigger first aid kit in the car. But if someone needs a band aid, like right there and then to like shut up a kid, because you know, a kid, even if they don't need a band aid for something, really, just putting one on them makes them shut up and leave everyone alone if they've got like a tiny cut. So often band-aids are about winning that mental battle with children. In fact, most things with children in the West where they're super pampered is just about winning the mental battles. Anyway, good little case from the survival first aid supplies or something. Uh, same company that did my larger first aid kit. So if you wanna check out my video, I did with my wife on that ages ago. That was a fun video. So I'm gonna check that out, it'll be cool. And then I've got an SE4. I used to have a Mora bushcraft in there, but I thought, you know what, if I put an SE in there, it make me feel smug for having so many good knives and SE can be my spare bag knife. This is of course the 1095 SE uh, rather than the, uh, the uh, S35 VN SE4. And I got, I got the 1095 one in there because you know it's really easy to see and it really stands out. And it kind of hooks into the, the Molly compatible stuff down there, which is good. Got a pair of Sunnies, needless. To say they're good for driving in the sun. Uh, I've got my Olite, what is this one called? This, the Arc, Arcfeld. It's a, a flashlight and also a laser. So cool little thing to have for signaling or just general extra light on hand. I've got a ferry rod. And, you know, I could use it in combination with the knife, I suppose. My, my inner knife nerd, bushcraft nerd makes me think to put that in. A Sharpie pen. Oh, these are my favorite like semi-disposable pens. You got these ones with the aluminium body. Uh, you still like, it's still 15 bucks for a pack of three of them. Really good, I love the Sharpie gel ink. It's good stuff. It's not like a proper Sharpie, but really good, I like them. And then I've got just a green permanent marker that you could write like, you know, if someone, if you're in a crash or something and you want to, you, know, you got, you know, know the basics about coding, triaging, things like that, you can write on people's foreheads with a, a green marker. Um, or any marker really, but you know, that's the color that was in the drawer when I was harvesting my supplies to put in this bag. Now in the front pocket, I don't think I have anything. Unless, oh, you know what? Unless I've got like money I've forgotten in here. You know how good that is when you have money that you forgot about? No, not today, loser. All right, and then this little pouch here, this is like my technology pouch. As you can see, it's full of technology. Uh, this is a, um, this is the bat, there's Xiaomi, Batteries. These ones are really good. It's like a, I can charge an iPhone like five times with one of these guys. 2000 amp. Like I, yeah, I did a bit of research and these ones were suggested. This was probably two years ago now, so there's probably way better ones, but hasn't done me wrong just yet. I've got some cable ties in the bottom just for like basically tying bits of my car up. You know, sometimes my boot doesn't quite shut because I've got it so overloaded. You can link a couple of table, cable ties together just to get it for a trip home. You know, the inertia is going to keep it down, but something to make you feel a bit better. Uh, and here I've got some, like a thin roll of like duct tape or like electrical tape or whatever. And then a little spot fix thing of super glue. That's it in there. And then in here I've got my little uh, workshop, um, it's a little knife tuning tool. It's got some uh, Torx drivers in it, pretty much the sizes to get, you know, handles off and scales apart and that sort of stuff. And then you've got a little dual sharpening, I mean, tiny sharpening, you'd have to be, 
pretty desperate to be using this, but it'll definitely sharpen the SE, no worries at all, that 1095. Bloody no worries at all. Then just a couple of cables, one for the switch charger, I believe, and one for the uh, Apple charger, so USB-C and lightning in there. So that is my like day bag type setup. And of course I've got other bags because I'm a, you know, I'm a guy with a, with a, I'm not preoccupied with being prepared, but I do certainly have a prepared mindset a little bit. I've got a prepared mind 101. Uh, so that's kind of what I'm carrying in the day to day. It all just kind of shoves back in there, you know, get in there chainsaw man. Anyway. So yeah, that's you know what I pick up this bag. I'll, I'll, I'll harvest from it when I'm a bit bored or when I need any of those things in there. And let's so uh, show some shots of me actually, I guess, carrying the thing so you can get a decent idea of what it looks like. Yeah, so it's not quite laptop size unless you've got one of those really mini laptops, but it's definitely tablet sized. Um, it's you know it's it's overloaded at the moment. I'm gonna, I'm gonna you know I'm gonna say that it's probably a little bit overwrought with stuff. I could probably rearrange it a little bit better to make it better. But important thing is. Sat in that hot car for ages, like basically non-stop since I've got it, and everything is fine. Nothing has shrunk. Nothing has gone weird. I've spilt that drink in the bottom of it, and it's fine. The leather doesn't doesn't stink. So it's got a leather base still for that kind of durability of thumping it down and dragging it around, and probably on the, the carpety floor mats of my car, it's not a particularly big deal, but on my other one, it's held up really, really well too. So great stuff. Um, leather is basically the trim and then you've got sort of just solid metal for the clamps like this is just steel clamps everything's good there's no plastic on it this is fully made in America like they're an American company uh, you're going to pay a bit more for these it's probably about $300 in fact you know I'm leaving to guess the price I'm just going to put up on the screen because that's what you know <laughs> that's the easiest way to do it so I don't have to do another take if I fuck up the price so that's that but um, yeah really really nice bag and you know my last nut sack was but it is still really good. Uh, it's a bit small, so this one is definitely that extra size up to fit more stuff in it that I otherwise wouldn't be able to bring with me places. And you know, isn't that nice to bring stuff with you places? You know, I feel like that little old lady in the labyrinth sometimes, but it's all good. So really good, high quality bag. They've stopped writing Nutsack on it, which I think was by sort of popular request because it's a little bit too like dude brand. I think anyone could really enjoy this bag. The aesthetic, side of me probably prefers the the canvasy like the brown canvasy look but uh practically speaking this cordura stuff super strong and probably you know more so durable and less likely to be um you know ruined by things as well you could just chuck this in the wash you could fill this with milk and then you just wash it in the washing machine i'm sure it'd be fine to get the stinky milk smell out so anyway that's that nut sack what do you think full specs on the screen i suppose just so i don't Get anything wrong. Thanks, Nutsack, for sending this in a little little pouch along. Um, I do appreciate it. It's like a it's always nice to have a thing sent to you that you're actually legitimately gonna use. Like you know, you send me an extra fixed blade or something sometimes, and you're just like, ah, oh, okay, I mean I like it, but it's it can end up in the drawer. But yeah, stuff like this, it's like, yeah, cool man, I can deal with it, I can deal with it. Little carry handle there, good strap there. Alright, it's all good, you know, it's all good. Pretty smart looking little case, don't you reckon? Oh yeah. It's got this on the back of it. If sort of concealing and carrying a firearm is, is in vogue where you are, or you know, people wouldn't think you're a complete psycho, then uh, you go ahead and conceal carry a gun in here. Uh, it's obviously not the way things are in this, in this country, but you know, if you're lucky enough to be somewhere where you can do that, then go your hardest. The bag will certainly look after you to an extent, at least. This is some even, even some like molly webbing that you can. You know, Attach your, I don't know what happens. I don't know how it works. I'm sure it's all good for that crowd. So that's another little feature going for it. I think that's about all the features that I can think of right about now. So thank you all and I'll see you all in the next film. Goodbye.